You guys tell me that this guy is unlike anything we've ever checked out together. What's going on guys? We've been having a fantastic day. Now I am super excited for today's video because today we were checking out Zack Sabre Jr. Now this guy is apparently completely different from all the other guys. He focuses more on like submission style wrestling as opposed to like doing big moves or big flippity flips, which I've actually never seen very much of at all. And so I'm really excited to be seeing this for the first time. I think me personally, I love a lot of the big moves. I love a lot of the flips and that's the sort of stuff that's impressed me so far. But I'm really interested to see what he can do and you know what? I'm definitely open to it. If you have it for whatever reason or you're new here and enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe down below. I love this community and I want you to be a part of it. Anyway guys, let's get into the video. I guess there's a lot of just flips in general, but I'm actually super excited to check this guy out. You guys have said he's excellent. And when you guys say someone's excellent, they usually are. Like, just be real with you guys. Just how it works. Okay, let's get to it. Zack Sabre Jr. My camera's warping a little bit. I can see from here. Sorry about that. Guess next. Oh. What? Double wrist lock. Pay the kick. Oh. You guys say he's not very flippy. Oh. He does a really like submission style of wrestling. It's a word completely different than anything we've seen already. Zack Sabre Jr. holds on. And that's reminiscent of a man we saw Zack Sabre Jr. go to war with. So he does a suplex and then ke keeps holding. That's kind of cool. Oh. What is this? Triangle choke, another one. This is Japanese. I love the commentating. I don't know what they're saying, but they're, they're definitely pumped about it. Triangle choke. Again, real submission. I've seen. Look at him. He's literally upside down on the guy. That's so sick that he can get this sort of thing over. Look at the referee. Are you tapping out? No. Like, I can't understand what the competitors are saying, but they're getting me fired up anyway. Oh, penalty kick. Say goodnight. He lost and now he kicks out of one. Zach goes to the corner looking for one. Oh, what? Does that connect? Or is that just really, really good performances by both people? I mean, I don't know. These guys are obviously insanely talented. Let's just watch that one more time. That is, that is something else. That's the best kick I've ever seen. Zach goes to the corner looking for one more. What? That is literally the- I have seen a lot of kicks on this channel. I've seen a compilation of the kicks. I've seen some guys that are renowned for the kicky buddy. That is the best kick I have ever seen on this channel before. That is the best hands down. That- that has impressed me. Like, like genuinely, some of the other stuff before has impressed me, especially like, what was it? Like the insecurity to the arm or, like or the Pele kick to the arm. Very cool. Very impressive. Pretty safe thing to do as well. This this, I, I don't know what it was in this particular move. I don't know if it was the acting or whatever. Excellent. That was excellent. One, two. The knee buckled a little bit oh. as he hit the man. A PK. No, that's just great one. Dave Mastiff earlier. Oh. oh. Dad, you went to every time there. Oh. oh. The penalty kick. But somehow RJ. Good acting on the kick outs. Like, it makes you think that's going to happen. What is this? Oh, oh see they're keeping away other people. And now he switches. Damn, he switches! Immediately to the other side. That's sick as well being able to transition. It must be really hard to fight a match against this guy if you're not used to what you're doing. Because this is completely different than all the other styles we've seen so far. And I love it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's bad. I love the Japanese commentators, guys. You guys say, you guys say though, Japanese wrestling is some of the best, so. Kenny Omega oh, catches him. Let him die. Knee bar. Oh, knee bar is a real thing as well. He said it in the Not like that, but it's a real thing. The same story is being written here against Tata. Oh, not Kenny Omega. That was so dumb. Why did I say that? I guess he said he's got a hair. And look at the referee getting too right cut. Nibar, that's gotta hurt, right? Oh! What are the chants? Maybe it was an American crowd, we know what that sounds like. But. In Japan, I don't know if they know those words. Nibar, oh! Oh! Let's see this. Dragon suplex hold. Oh! 
Oh! oh! That's sick, guys. Super fluid. I think that's what you see from Japan. Like, insanely fluid wrestling. Oh! Dragon suplex with the bridge to go through to the semis. Kushida out again. La Japanese leg roll clutch. Oh! That's sick. There's no way you can get out of that. I love that. That has an extra element to like that hole. Oh. I guess I get kicked out of a lot, but at the same time. Did you see that transition? That's insane as well. Guys, I don't know if you guys like this style of wrestling more or less, but for me, it's um, it's, it adds an extra element. I think it adds really cool variation. I, I I definitely still like the ricochet stuff. I definitely still like you know the big the big you know Undertaker type just giants and Walter type giants. But this is definitely an extra niche. I think this one's definitely underdeveloped. I mean, obviously he's the expert at this. It looks really hard to do. I love the Japanese commentators. Oh, look at that. You did get him, didn't you? Zack Driver. Oh! That was a good move as well. Look at how he spiked him on his head. Not a big guy. Jack Sabre Jr. is not a big guy. Or near, or to near. That's it. That's what it's called. Come on, Tana. That's a weird name, guys. Weird name. Painful looking move, though. That is Kenny Omega right there. Shoot him. Dude, that's like a weird, like, groin thing. Damn, this is really sick type of wrestling where they're, like, all on the ground, like, wrapped up. You're not really sure who's on top. That isn't, though. It's not, that is not Kenny Omega. That's looking painful, dude. Oh! Another one of these pitting things. So fluid, so agile. Must take so much coordination to pull something like this off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two! I love this, guys. I love this. Oh. oh! I already know it's gonna come, but even every time he locks in, it's still sick. Small guy though, isn't he? He's pretty small. Oh, he got him again. Look at that, so fluid, so agile, and the way they work together is just insane. I'm really impressed by this guy, I really am. It's like a, it's like a, it's like an underrated type of wrestling. Modified Manji Gata. Gata man. Look at him, what's even going on there? Is that like his finisher? Does he not even have like a proper finisher? What's even happening? I can't even tell whose legs are who. So he's completely off the ground at this point, isn't he? That looks like it hurts, dude. That looks like it hurts. Oh, dude. Super impressive stuff from him. It's a, he occupies a niche of wrestling that I don't think we see enough. We got a lot of those big guys. We got a lot of those skilled guys. I mean, we got a lot of boy and wrestlers too. But, I mean, I don't really check them out. But we got a lot of them. But I don't think we have enough of those insane submission specialists that are just so quick, so agile, and able to just take a small situation and expose it. I really do like that, and I am super impressed. And thank you guys for sending that in. Anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Each and every one of the subscriptions means a ton to me. Like, literally, that's, like, my favorite thing. You know, views and money, whatever, that's good. But subscribers and building a community, that's really what I like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.